what's up y'all it's your girl Fatima Maya and I'm back with another video in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys my go-to full coverage makeup routine so in this video I show you the face the brows the eye it all and I'll show you what I use of course be sure to check the description box all the products I use will be down there and yeah, I am on a cleansing right now. This is my last day today, actually. My last video, I was starting it. So today, I'm finishing it. So it's not much talking going on in the video, but I will show y'all everything that I use and you will see the full routine. If y'all are interested in the cleanse that I'm doing, it's called the Master Cleanse and I will put the info in my description box. There's a link to a website that explains all of it. So if you guys are interested in doing some type of cleansing for your body, for sure, check that out I highly recommend it so I hope y'all enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you do and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video that's all I have to say I will talk to y'all later bye so to start off this video I'm doing my brows first so I'm using the morphe brow palette and the dark brown shade and I'm gonna fill them in To clean up my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation in the shade Spice Rum on the top of my brows and the Juvia's Place Liquid Concealer in the shade 12 on the bottom of my eyebrows. After blending that out, I'm going in with my primer. It's the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Soft Matte Primer. So I'm just gonna rub this all over my face. The foundation I'm using all over my face is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation in the shade Spiced Rum. For my concealer, I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Liquid Concealer in the shade 12, and I'm using this to highlight my face.
For the full list of my products that I use, please check the description box. I will for sure have all the products listed down there. So after blending out my concealer, I go in with my foundation brush just to blend out those harsh lines and to make it look more natural. Next, I'm going to contour with my Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Concealer and this one is in the shade 495. Gotta make sure you blend it in that hairline, girl. So once again, after blending that out, I'm going in with my foundation brush to blend in those harsh lines. To set my highlighted portions, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Loose Powder and I'm going to be using Nutmeg and also Honey. So I mix the two shades together. So first I'm making sure I blend out my concealer so that there's no wrinkles and then I apply the powder right after. And mixing the two shades together just work best for me. When I use Honey alone, it just gives me a little bit of flashback, but when I mix it with Nutmeg to make it a little darker, it works perfectly for me. Also, I don't bake in the winter. Um, I only bake in the summertime, so after I apply it with the sponge, I just kind of swipe it away with the powder brush. So now I'm going to set my face all over with the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation in the shade 420. And yes, this is a foundation, but if you have oily skin or just want a full coverage look like me, then this is a great thing to set your face with because it'll give you that extra added coverage and also suck up any extra oil. To bronze my face, I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics bronzer in the shade Tawny Mommy. Okay, moving on to the eyes, we're going to be using the Morphe 35O palette, and I'm just starting off by blending out the concealer on my eyes. So unfortunately, there are no shade names, so I'm just showing you what shade I'm using. 
So I'm taking that one and I'm putting it on my lid all over, which is just like a cool brown smoky shade. So now I'm going to take this warm brown shade and I'm applying that right above the last color just to help blend that out. Now I'm taking the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using the Rustic Shade and I'm using that in my crease and this just helped blend all those colors right together. So next for my transition shade, I'm using the Burnt Orange from the Soft Glam Palette and I'm applying that right under my brow bone. To complete the eye look, you always want to make sure you go back in and add the shadows from the top of your eye to the bottom of your eye. So this is basically all the browns I used, I'm putting them on the bottom just to smoke out the eye. To highlight the eye, I'm using the glistening shade from the Soft Glam palette and I'm going to use this on my tear dot and also on my brow bone. So now I've applied my falsies and I use the Eyler London Luxe Silk Lashes and these are bomb you guys I definitely recommend them so now I'm going in with my Ulta Beauty Berry Spice blush palette and I'm using the pink shade for highlight I'm gonna use the glow kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the sugar one and I'm using the color butterscotch and I always wet my highlight brush before I apply it because it just makes it apply so much better. Okay, so now we finally made it to my favorite part, doing my little dance. I'm using the MAC Lip Pencil in Chestnut to line my lips. Now I'm going to use my lipstick by Kylie Cosmetics. This is in the color Butterscotch. And you guys, let me tell you, Ulta Beauty has a sale on these right now. They're like $8. And it's going on until the 28th. And I just feel like no one knows about it. So for my gloss, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Cream Gloss Balm in the shade Honey Waffles. And now we're all done. That is my go-to full coverage makeup routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the completed look and I really love it, honestly. I love the eye. It's simple and cute, but yet you got something going on. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. I post every Friday. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night, whatever time you're watching this. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.